Hai, Assalamualaikum. Selamat sejahtera. Apa khabar semua? Okey, cikgu harap semuanya berada dalam keadaan yang sihat, sejahtera. Okey, dan hari ini kita dah masuk minggu kedua kita bercuti. Okey, baik. Walaupun bercuti, okey, kita punya pembelajaran, okey, jangan ditinggalkan. Okey, baik. Sambil-sambil bercuti, sambil-sambil kita belajar. Okey. Jadi awak pilihlah mana-mana masa yang sesuai untuk awak buat revision dan uh, apa ni buat ulang kaji, buat latihan kerana matematik untuk menguasai matematik awak kena ada latihan. Practice, practice and practice. Okay, in previous uh, lesson, okay, in previous week, last week, okay, last week, cikgu dah hantar satu video, okay. Yang cikgu dah terangkan relationship between the points on a straight line and the equation of straight line. Dan awak dah, cikgu harap awak dah cuba buat latihan tu lah. Okay. But, so kita akan sambung lagi apa yang ada dalam topik yang terakhir ini. Okay, iaitu topik sembilan. Okay. Uh, okay, kita tengok apa dia learning standardnya. Okay, learning standard. Investigate and make inference about the gradients of parallel lines. Keyword yang ada di sini ialah tentang gradients and parallel lines. Okay, gradient, awak dah tahu, dalam straight line equation, y equals to mx plus c, okay, m represent the gradient. So, apa kaitan gradient? Dengan parallel lines. Parallel lines tu macam mana? Parallel lines, okay, bila ada two or more lines that never intersect. Itu parallel line. Maksudnya, kalau kita extend the straight line, dia takkan bersilang. Itu parallel line. Okay. Alright. So, let's go through apa yang ada dalam this textbook. Okay. What do you understand about the gradient of parallel lines? Okay. Alright. So, kita akan tengok. You have learned that the gradient of straight line is the ratios of vertical distance to the horizontal distance. Okay. Yang ni cikgu dah explain dalam kelas. Okay. Tentang formula asalnya gradient ni ialah daripada ratio vertical distance to the horizontal distance. Okay? Alright. And the corresponding angles of the parallel lines are equal. Okay. Apa maksudnya di sini? Corresponding angles, okay, of the parallel lines are equal. Okay? Contohnya, awak dah belajar ya, awak dah belajar tentang two parallel lines bila ada transversal Okay, transversal is straight line that uh, intersect with both straight line, parallel line tu. Okay, corresponding line means that angle yang sepadan. Ah, okay, the angle dia sama kan? Okay, awak dah belajar ini dalam form 1. Okay, transversal. Okay, angle yang sepadan tu sama. Contoh kalau angle dia di bawah ni. Okay, yang ni angle ni. Sepadan dengan angle yang sebelah lagi. Okay, untuk the parallel lines. Okay, konsepnya di sini. Okay, konsepnya ialah di sini. Okay. So, bila kita dah nampak angle tu sama, apa yang awak boleh kaitkan dengan gradient? Cuba cuba fikirkan. Cuba awak fikirkan. Tadi cikgu dah explain tentang corresponding angles. Angles dia sama. Size yang sama. Okay, yes, bagus. Okay, so gradient dia pun sama. Okay, gradient untuk parallel line have same value. Parallel line have same value of gradient. Equationnya tak sama. Equationnya tak sama but the gradient sama. Okay, let's go through in brainstorming one. Eh, sorry, brainstorming for. Okay, awak tengok di sini. Examine the straight lines below that 
were drawn based on the equation of straight line with the same gradient m equals to 2. Now, okay, gradient dia sama. Gradient dia sama. Cuba tengok. Okay, gradient dia sama. Gradient tu is the coefficient of the x. Okay, so first diagram, okay, the equation is y equals to 2x plus 2. Kenapa plus 2? Because it, the y-intercept is 2. Okay, this in diagram 2, y equals to 2x plus 4. 2x plus 4. Okay, the y-intercept is Four. In diagram 3, the y-intercept is at origin. That's why the equation is y equals to 2x. Alright. In diagram 4, y equals to 2x minus 2, the y-intercept is at negative 2. And the last one in diagram 5, y equals to 2x minus 4. Okay. Because it intercept at negative 4. Okay, look at the gradient. Look at the gradient. The value of gradient here, the gradient is 2. Okay, for all the five diagrams. Okay, the coefficient for the x is the gradient. So, the gradient is now is the same value. Okay, now based on diagram 1 to diagram 5, calculate the value theta. Ah, okay, ini ada kaitan dengan which topic? Yes, it have a relationship with the, it relates to the topic trigonometric ratios. Okay, sebab kita nak, now kita nak explore bahawa angle dia sama. Okay, alright, kita tengok based on diagram 1. Okay, diagram 1. Okay, ingat balik tangent. What is tangent? Tangent is tangent theta toa opposite over adjacent. Okay, so di sini kita ada, okay, in diagram 1, okay, in diagram 1, kita ada horizontal distance over, sorry, that one is vertical distance over horizontal distance. Okay, tapi sekarang ni kita nak tengok based on the theta given in this diagram. Okay, based on the theta, okay, this one is the horizontal, okay, you can... Uh, take which one you can uh, simply find the uh, length of the, the distance. Okay, the distance of vertical distance. Okay, this one is the vertical distance. Berapa unit? 4 units. And the horizontal distance is 2 units. Tangent is tangent theta. Opposite is 4. And the, uh, the horizontal distance is the adjacent, okay, adjacent is 2, so tangent theta is 4 over 2 equals to 2. In diagram 2, okay, refer to the theta, okay, and then you can take any, any vertical distance yang mudah kita nak tengok, okay, yang mudah kita nak based on the unit given, okay, yang grid yang kita ada di sini, okay, alright. Kenapa kena cari vertical distance and horizontal distance? Because now you have to find uh, the relationship lah. Okay, the relationship between the angle and the gradient. Okay, now you have di diagram 2. In diagram 2, the vertical distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so tangent theta equals to 6 is the opposite over adjacent. 1, 2, 3. So, the tangent theta you will get 2. What about in diagram 3? Okay, diagram 3. Okay, this one. Okay. The triangle here. Okay. Tangent theta. Okay, opposite is 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2. You will get 2. Okay. Alright. Now. Okay, uh, kalau kita cuba untuk 4 and 5, we'll get the same value of theta. Okay, uh, sorry, not uh, the tangent theta, kita akan dapat sama. Okay, so are the values of theta of the 5 diagrams the same? Yes, because we get the value tangent theta to sama. That's why, okay, 
in this bra uh, brainstorming four, okay, the the graph in diagram one to diagram five, kalau kita combine, okay, alright, ah, tu kita dapat lah line tu yang ada biru, purple, merah, kuning dan juga hijau tu. Kalau kita combinekan dalam satu Chatterson plane, okay, alright. So the tips is here yang cek kuda explain awal tadi. Okay, so in general, okay, straight line that have the same gradients are parallel. Okay, kalau straight line, okay, gradient dia sama, itu bermaksud line itu adalah parallel. Ataupun kalau straight line tu parallel, so the gradient are equal. Okay, alright. Now, look at example 8. Okay. Determine whether the straight line y equals to 3x plus 5 is parallel to the straight line 6x minus 2y equals to 9. Now, you have two equation here. Okay. Tapi kita tak boleh directly compare this equation untuk determine whether it's parallel or not. We have to make sure the 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 equation in the is in the form of y equals to mx plus c. Okay, yang pertama ni dah betul dalam bentuk y equals to mx plus c. But for the six y six x minus two y equals to nine. Okay, uh, that's why in previous lesson awak kena belajar dulu how to convert from one equation to another uh, form of equation. Okay, so. Alright, so cikgu tak perlu lagi explain how to convert because you just apply the uh, algebraic formula, okay, or the linear equation, okay, untuk tukarkan dalam bentuk y equals to mx plus c. Now, bila dah tukar dalam bentuk y equals to mx plus c, you will get y equals to 3x minus 9 over 2. Okay. Okay, yang pertama tadi, yang pertama the equation is y equals to 3x plus 5. Compare the gradient. You just compare the gradient. Bukannya compare overall the equation. Equation dia akan lain. Because equation akan lain sebab dia punya in, uh, y intercept tak sama. Yang sama hanyalah the gradient. Okay, so when you compare both equation, okay, you will uh, get the same gradient. So when you get the same gradient, okay, thus the conclusion you can make here is the straight line y equals to 3x plus 5 is parallel to the straight line 6x minus 2y equals to 9. Okay, alright. So untuk compare kena tukar dulu dalam bentuk y equals to mx plus c. Now, look at example 9. Determine whether the straight line y equals to 3x plus 8 is parallel to the straight line 6y equals to 3x minus 9. Okay, ini pun sama. Kena tukarkan dulu this equation into the form of y equals to mx plus c. The first equation is y equals to 3x plus 8 and the second equation when you change or you convert the equation into the form of y equals to mx plus c, you will get this equation. y equals to 1 over 2x minus 3 over 2. Now, compare the gradient. The first equation, the gradient is 3. But, the second equation, the gradient is 1 over 2. Okay, so the gradient is not equal. Both The gradient of both straight line is not equal. So, it is not parallel. You get it? Okay, alright. <coughs> okay, now look at example 10. Given that the straight line 4x plus 3y equals to 18 is parallel to the straight line 2x plus hy equals to 2. Now, it already mentions that the first equation or the first straight line is parallel to the second straight line. 
Okay, so now the question asks you to calculate the value of H. Alright, so if the both, if both straight lines are parallel, then the gradient are equal. So what you have to do is, alright, make sure you change the equation in the form of Y equals to MX plus C. Okay, so the first equation you change, you will get this equation. Then you take the gradient. Okay. Alright. Kenapa kena dapatkan gradient tu? Because it mentioned that the second straight line, okay, the, the both straight line are parallel. So, the value of gradient are equal. Then, when you have the gradient, okay, you, you get the gradient negative 4 over 3, you substitute into the equation. But, before you substitute into the equation, make sure this equation is in the form of y equals to mx plus c. Okay. So, uh, okay. The equation is 2x plus hy equals to 20. Then you convert into y equals to mx plus c. Just take the gradient. The gradient now is negative 2 over h. Okay, and then jadikan dia persamaan linear. Linear equation. Okay, ini yang daripada equation yang pertama. Okay, this one from the second equation. The gradient are equal. So, you just make it into, uh, okay, it become a equation. Negative 4 over 3 for the first gradient, for the first straight line, equals to negative 2 over h. And then you solve the equation. Macam selesaikan linear equation. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Sebenarnya tak susah. Just make sure you know the concept. Okay. Alright. So, apa yang awak dah belajar hari ni ialah awak dah belajar parallel line have same gradient. Okay. I repeat. Parallel line have same gradient. Okay, for further understand about the what you have learned today, okay, try uh, do exercise mind test 9.1D in maths 1, okay. Question number 1, okay, our buat A and C. Question number 2, B and D. And question number 3, uh, okay. So, you have 5 questions today to solve. Okay, cuba buat. Jangan tak cuba. Okay, kalau tak cuba sampai bila pun awak tak akan tahu. Okay, alright. So, cikgu rasa itu sahaja untuk kali ini. Okay, ada beberapa lagi lah. Ada beberapa lagi uh, learning standard yang kita akan cover dalam kelas yang akan datang. Okay, jadi kalau ada apa-apa masalah, jangan malu-malu, jangan segan-segan untuk bertanya. Okay, jadi itu sahaja untuk video kali ini. Bye, Assalamualaikum.